Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll start setting up the meetings content type, and I'll do that by going into the site settings. Notice that I am in the content type hub. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please watch the previous demonstration where I went through that in some detail. So I'm going to go into site settings and find the content type section there, site content types, and now I'm going to click create. I'm going to create a um, Contoso meeting. That's my content type and I'm going to make that a list content type and it's going to inherit from the regular item. So the regular item only has one single field, the title. So that means that I don't have any built-in baggage, so to speak, I can start from scratch. You could of course use the document uh, content type and build on top of, of a document also. Uh, put everything inside a Word document or something like that. But in this case, I'm going to go with a list content type and select the item. And I'm also going to put this in a new group called Contoso so I can easily find my content types. And I'm going to click OK. And now it's created. Since I'm in the content type hub, I can manage publishing for this content type once I'm done. And as you see, since I'm building on top of item, I can only see the title column here. Of course, there's also the created and modified and all those fields are still there. So um, I don't get any other fields. I'm going to use an existing column for the notes. So let's find those. Add from existing. Let's see. It's not there. Let's see. Comments should be there. Yes, comments is there. Core documents column. That's good. But that means that it's indexed and available for search. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that for comments. And then I'm going to add a um, new site column for meeting comments. That's going to be multiple lines of text. I'm going to put that in a new group, of course. I don't have it yet. And then I'm going to use append changes to existing text. Then I'm going to add a new site column again called the chairman. Let's be politically correct and call it the chairperson. And uh, I'm going to do personal group. And there can only be one responsible person. I'm going to put that again in the Contoso. And, and that's going to be people only, not people or groups, right? And then we're going to have the internal attendees. And that's going to be a personal group again. And the difference bet between this and the chairperson is that we're going to allow multiple selections. Yes. And then I'm going to do an external attendees, and that's going to be multiple lines of text. And in that case, putting those in the Contoso group too, we're not going to allow enhanced rich text there. We're just going to be plain text based on that. Yep, we're growing here, and I would want to have the department also. The department field is going to be a managed metadata field. So. In order to do a managed metadata field, I actually need to go out into my SharePoint Admin Center. And here's my term store. And now, by default, this is the first time I've used the term store. So as you see, if I right click here, there's nothing I can do. So the first thing I need to do is make sure that I'm the term store administrator. So I'm going to do that. I'm allowed to do that. I'm not allowed to change anything else, but I can make myself the term store administrator. Now, once I've done that, you see this lights up and I can do things. I can right click and there's cool things here. But now I'm going to create a new term set. I'm going to create a new group. I'm going to call that Mentoso. And then I'm going to create a new term set called Department. And I'm going to create new terms under that. Create term, IT, HQ, and Sales. Very good. Now I'll go back to my content type that I was working with, Contoso Meeting, and now I'm going to add from a new site column. I'm back in the content type hub, I'm back in the Contoso Meeting. Now I'm going to add from a new site column again, and I'm going to call that Contoso Department, and that of course is going to be connected to a managed metadata field that I just created. I'm going to create that in the Contoso group, and connect it to the taxonomy, Contoso department. All right. And then we're finally going to do an action point. And that's going to be a hyperlink. And I'm going to point that to a new task list. 
So that's my use case here. I think that in order to have a meeting, you should have tasks, but they should not be stored inside the meeting notes. They should be an, another list. So I'm going to task the chairperson or whoever is taking notes with creating a new task list before the meeting starts. So that's how I think it should be done. So that took me a couple of minutes to do, but now my content type is finished. The final step that I'm going to do now is publish this. Press OK. And after a little while, I can go into my sites, find my T site, and go into site settings. And under site content types here, I have the Contoso group, uh, but it, it's not showing the um, meeting notes that I just created. So after a while, usually maybe an hour or so, it will show up here but I have no control over that in Office 365, so I'll just have to wait and I'll do another demo. Thank you for watching this demonstration.